What if there was a way to combine energy generation and food production at the same time? Biosphere researcher Greg Baron Gafford is trying to solve that equation with agrivoltaics. Renewable energy production overhead, agricultural production below. Greg Baron Gafford is looking at a new way to do agriculture in the future. This is one of the funnest things for me as someone who has an ecological background. Uh, we found out that these large-scale solar arrays were creating kind of a heat island effect. They were creating a warmer microenvironment around them. We thought, well, how can we solve that? These solar panels don't do as well when they get hot, so if we can cool them down, they'll be more efficient. And so we started to look out in nature and think about some of the mesquite trees that you see around town or the Palo Verdes, these, these trees that usually have a community underneath them. And we thought, here's an example in nature of an overstory and an understory really working well together. We plant plants that are not adapted to the desert out in the open sun. That seems kind of cruel in a way if you're a tomato plant. You know how to give it lots of water. What if we could create a false overstory for them? Could they do better? And that's how we merge this one question about what kind of uh, plants can you grow under solar panels that can help cool them down? And what kind of overstory can you create for agriculture that can make it more efficient? And we started with what we liked, salsa. The researchers also grew cilantro, peppers, and tomatoes under the preliminary panels. They did it through one winter, spring, and summer, and found that the solar panels trapped warmer air beneath them, and none of the plants suffered from frost during the winter time. Baron Gafford's crew celebrated the success of growing vegetables in the solar panel shade, but they also wanted to know why they were succeeding. So they began to measure the factors, which, according to Baron Gafford, stress plants out. Now we have sensors that we stick in the ground that actually measure how moist is the soil and how long does it stay at certain moistures. We measure the temperature. That's another thing that stresses us out, being too hot. So we measure the temperature of the air throughout the day and night cycles. We measure the humidity levels so that we can get a sense of how dry is the atmosphere. One experiment we've been doing with the local elementary school is they planted carrots in August. That's months ahead of when you should be planting carrots in a typical setting, but they did really well. And so what if you can get two cycles of carrots in the same growing season because you've been able to extend that season? Now all of a sudden we're talking about more food that goes from the field to the table. We've been able to reduce the amount of water that we're using. That's really important, thinking about Arizona's future, which is gonna be really water limited. Now we're able to do, use less water and grow the same or even more tomatoes. Again, that's food on the table.